if you uh, look at the weather now, it is hot and sunny, but the entire morning it was hammering rain, very gloomy. Uh, it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. What you're looking at is my scooter, and it's time to tell you her name. Give her a hug first. Yeah. Meet Mindy. Yes, Pangalan Mindy. Uh, the reason I've decided to call her Mindy is a tribute to Mindanao, my home, and a tribute to my old scooter, Cindy, who's in Batanas right now. So Mindanao, Cindy, Mindy. And uh, she is a Dalagan Filipina. Yeah. <laughs> that was so corny. But yeah, it's gonna call Mindy. Uh, I remember the other night when we came back and we stopped at the seawall at the end of our uh, hot spring. This is it. It's really beautiful. It's Baganga, uh, just a few kilometers down from where we live in Katiil, and uh, I think I'm gonna go for a walk because it's low tide. Check it out, and yeah, probably sweat a bit. Let's go. This is such a beautiful seawall, really, really cool. And this island here, I guess it's really low tide now. People are like hanging out, swimming in pools and playing. Great place for munging has, like searching for shells or sea creatures. Lots of starfish, wow, look at them. Alien fish. Uh, in case you're wondering guys, Commander D's with his wife, Kumar's fixing his bike, Jundi's back at PUM University. And I'm just taking the afternoon to drive around with Mindy and check out more of the area. That's our new home in the East Coast here. So I'm just coming out to check out the island and I'm going to put on my Cordillera Sagada. I think it's Sagada, Cordillera's mask. Just to set a good example for the kids too. Because uh, they can see they're playing over here jumping off the rocks. So. Man hop on! Como está el año hoy? This is such a cool place. Look at that. Is that? What is it now? Wow. Oh, there's a little fish. And it's a pangala ng is that it though. Don't know? Get my fish? <laughs> so, fun fact if you're ever in an area along the ocean and you see these strange little baskety things hanging off wires or lines, they're dried fish or the fish becoming bulan like this. So give those a couple of hours and they're probably going to be very, very stinky. Well, this definitely reminds me of, uh, again, growing up in Canada, just playing on the ocean and the coast. Uh, I'm already so happy at how diverse this coastline is. Katio with this cream sand. Here you got this white sand, low tidal area. Boston, there's black sand. I mean, and we're barely even going anywhere, you know? So I can just imagine this whole province is just full of Awesome places to explore. Back to Mindy. Let's take off and uh, drive down the coast towards Baganga Pabasha. Ah, it's so great. I love curry. They're one of my favorite all-time games. Okay, let's go to Baganga Pavashon. Actually, it's about 30k away, I think, so... Let's just explore the coast. Have a great day.
it's just always fascinated me the uh, the trees that grow out of the ocean here now they look dead and I'm not sure a hundred percent but I think this is due to Typhoon Pablo back in 2012 um, the people here in Davao Oriental got hit really hard by a massive storm uh, that affected their lives and I think that's why these trees look like this they're kind of dead and just you know mysteriously coming out of the water here but yeah please let me know if that's why and even though this is kind of cool to walk around i've never actually done it i'm going to go down uh it's also a reminder of the difficulties that people experience in this province um anyways i'm just gonna sit and stare at these for a bit and then maybe go for a walk amongst them such a surreal environment uh, reminds me of being on maybe a movie set like an alien planet uh, I could see why people want to come here and film videos or take photos I mean the trees and the green seaweeds and algae and then the little mangroves trying to sprout up it's very yeah it's beautiful but uh, again a reminder I think of how you know, the environment can really be destructive too. Okay, I think I will come back here one day for sunrise. I bet you the colors would be amazing. And I'm gonna head back to that building over there. Strange hunch that this building was destroyed by Pablo as well. Uh, yeah, it seems to be totally abandoned. Anyways, gonna head now to Baganga. I think another 10k to go. I really want to shake. I haven't had a fruit shake since we've been here. Um, that's one of my goals today. See if Baganga can provide. The other day a lot of people commented about whoa gold eagle beer well, I kid you not here in this part of Davao Davo Oriental they have gold eagle beer billboards yes that is a gold eagle beer billboard ah uh, still alive the beer is still alive like every town has a seawall. Uh, I love how everything just wraps around bays here in Davo Oriental. I think though here, uh, this is unique. I see some carabaos and carts. They seem to be harvesting sand or something. Uh, anyways, welcome to Baganga. I'm gonna go poke around the town and uh, get a snack. Let's go take a look.
Welcome to the high street of Bagunga. Searching for snacks. Okay, so after randomly driving down the street in Baganga, there's this cute little cafe on the corner called K-Cups, and I've ended up here. And they have Ube Cheese Panda Sol, which I know has been like the big thing for the longest time, but I've yet to try it. So this will be my first one ever. And it's warm, and I'm gonna open it up. There it is. Oh no, I'm spilling on the table. But <laughs> I think there's coconut on the outside as well, or something. But it's good. Mm. My first ever ube cheese panda sole just happens to be a cake cup simbaganga. Approved. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be very, very serious because everybody here speaks Kamayo, correct? Sakto? Yeah, yeah, sakto. Okay, <laughs> Tama, Sakto. So, what I wanna do is try and like learn a word every day. Today, I want to know how to say like naakai, like in Visaya, do you have naakai pizza, naakai milk tea? How do you say naakai in Kamayo? Awan Kamayo. Awan Kamayo. One more time. Awan Kamayo. Awan Kanmayo. Yes. Okay, so it's Awan Kanmayo. So Awan Kanmayo pizza. Awan kamayo, kamayo pizza. Awan kamayo milk tea. Like that. Okay, yeah. I gotta, I gotta remember this. We're just chatting one more time. So, <laughs> if I said awan kamayo, it's because I'm talking to so many people. Yeah. But if I was just like, if I went up to Ate here, it was like Ate. <laughs> if I go awan can mo yes. milk tea, because I'm just asking her, does she have milk tea? You just say yes. awan can mo. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I found out too you can say salamat ai. They add ai like salamat ai. Hello. <laughs> Good vibes in Baganga. Uh, that was great. I did bypass the Lubong for Mama Rose and everybody. I'm uh, just gonna cruise around Baganga a little bit now. It's about 3.30. I'm at I. So as I head out of Baganga across the bridge, I want to let everybody know that Pandasol are covered with breadcrumbs. It's not coconut, it's breadcrumbs. They're delicious. These areas are beautiful. I'd love to explore the river with like a stand-up paddleboard or boat. Go on. Go on. I think this is the famous fish market actually. This is a big fish landing. I might park and buy some Yizda. Hello. <laughs> Yizda. <laughs> I don't think it counts for both Basaya. Basaya go. This is Kinabang, you know. Oh, Kinabang. Unsay oras niya bot ang isda sa iyo sa buntal. Unsay oras. Alasay, alasingko. Alasingko, alasay? Okay, sige. Cool. Unsay ni? It's a morning. It's a tuna? Tuna. It's kind of the end of the day, but I'm just gonna check anyways. Unsay ni? Balo. Ah, balo again. Asay mga asawa. Wala asawa, nakoy uyab. Hey, Kao, I see Munga Sawa. Hey! Hola, Munga Sawa, but I'm not going to go. Oh, that we have. 
Okay, same then, same. <laughs> I think I've got the whole barangay uh, <laughs> around me here. I've took out my drone just to see about 1.8 kilometers over there. Uh, is a beautiful sandbar. It's closed right now. You can't go to it, but in the future I'm definitely gonna go uh, As well, they have an island called is it Po'o or Po'o? Ung Isla. What's the Pangalan sa Isla? Po'o? Po'o? Sige. These guys know. <laughs> There's an island called Po'o and a big sandbar there. Looks really beautiful. This is the famous place for fish. They said come back at 5 in the morning for best selection, so I'll probably do that. Uh, all of the kids here, they know social distancing. I told them stay away, stay away, so that's why they're doing that, but uh, if you fly a drone in the Philippines, expect a lot of attention. Super beautiful here, I'm gonna head down the coast and uh, check out a sunset, and then go back towards San Antonio. Get a blangan! <laughs> Almost too low. Bye-bye. This is ube cheese panda sauce. Wow, saw. thank you. And then this one, this is a... Ube cheese sauce. Yes. Legend! It's good, from Bagangi, do you like it? Mm. Excellent, and this is a ube, mm. le ube custard. Wow. So it's from K something, mm. the nice. milk tea place. Nice. cups. Yeah, it's good man, they just yeah, had yeah. them there. Yeah, delicious. Excellent. And real, real cheese, really. I don't mm. like them. Little breadcrumbs on the mm. side. I'm back. Oh, you can take this now. Yes! <laughs> I didn't forgot your sulfur soap, I'm sorry. Okay. Tomorrow, Brad. Okay. How was your second day of university? Okay. <laughs> Brad, how's your new job? Making me slave. What? <laughs> what? Slave. Slave? Filipino slave. Filipino slave. Oh. You guys, everyone's gonna think like I'm racist. Everything's gonna think I'm like racist and stuff. That's not good. Please tell them you're joking. Please tell them you're joking. Tell them you're joking. <laughs> We're laughing, so it's a joke. It's a joke, oi. We're not serious. <laughs> oh, dude, is that the coconut vinegar? Coco oil. Coco oil. Coco oil and pepino? And vinaigrette. What's on the menu tonight, man? Now that you've taken over to help the salad. Look at this. It's done already. My up up up. All time favorite. In on unan. And I knew it. And look at that. What? Okra. Oh, Boys, okra. How do you say again in Bisaya? Slimy. Huh? Slimy. Slimy. Yes. MacGyver. Slimy. Slimy. Yes. Tapot. Uh, like it. Like it. Lagkit okra, isda okra, inanunan, which is the isda, and a salad. We're eating healthy tonight, which means we can drink. It's Friday, it's Friday man. Oh, ho, ho. Nice, thirsty. That's why it's the, our French guy. Oh. Inting. Inting. New name. French guy Vince is Inting. <laughs> Inting, it's inting. It is a Filipino name, anyway. Inting! Oh, it's nothing. It's a bad thing. Inting! Inting! Nice cutting! Nice cutting! I'll see you at dinner. I'll see you at dinner. I'll see you at dinner. Hey, Mama Rose. Hello. You didn't have to cook again. Yes. Three times. Yeah. Three times. What are you most excited to eat on the table? What's your favorite? Um. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I have not decided yet. No. <laughs> That's okay. But I'm, I'm definitely cutting on carbo. Oh, okay. Small only or no rice. Oh. Bye, <laughs> you.
That's me, I know. I love rice, but I also cut back a bit, so. But with in and out on the table, it's gonna to be tough. Yes, you know, especially when there is fried food, you know, fish. Mm. I really need the sauce. Oh, that's the special. What do you? What do you call the sauce again? This is the shrimp paste sauce. So good. Honey shrimp paste. And I will be eating lots of that. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're addicted to this. I am. I do this. I do. I put it on every day. I do this every time you eat. You put the sauce. It's a fact. All right, we're gonna eat. See you later or tomorrow. I don't know.